Greetings to all friends around the world. Today is the first day of a per- period、uh, we like to call the year 2023. Last night, on the eve of this period, we burned a big mound of old wood. At times, the flames reached up to 10 meters high. Fire has a cleansing quality, and gazing into the flames is mesmerizing. However, beside the wood, in a way, we were also, metaphorically, burning our old attitudes, habits, ways of thinking, which have proved to be not all that helpful on our journey towards higher levels of consciousness. As per David Hawkins, for those interested. I'm aware that the effort to cleanse one's soul is a lifelong process, yet, this metaphorical fire can be a reminder, an anchor, and grounding force on that path to our self improvement. Let's call it that. Old learned behaviors, habits, attitudes do not depart easily. This can become apparent even on the photo of my son jumping around the fire. If you look carefully and employ a degree of imagination, you can see on the photo a small person reaching out of the fire, trying to grab my son's leg. Some of you may even notice the fiery head of a fish that, with its mouth open, appears to want to get hold of my son's heel. Again, a metaphor for old, unhelpful energies trying to get hold, well, trying to hold us back. <laughs> And here you can see. This 61 year old woman dancing around the fire to the tunes of Nightwish. How liberating this was! We were also privileged to bear witness to the flames consuming and transforming wood and our old energies into embers, smoke, and thousands of sparks. Sending them up higher and higher into the dark dome of the velvety night until they became stars, one with the universe, until they transformed into pure goodness. And today, a swim in the ocean, our pack had a great time. Simba constantly trying to save us in about 70 centimeters of water. Milo probably headed for Antarctica with Missy already there. <laughs> what a blast! So, what to wish us all for this upcoming period? I wish us all courage and resolve for finding kindness, gentleness, patience, and understanding within ourselves and applying them to our deeds. If we succeed, In this, and if there is more of us, then we will also contribute to a better world around us. So, this is my wish to you, and to myself, and to my loved ones. In my next videos,、um, I would like to invite you and I would like to introduce you to a journal. It's called Trails of Discovery, and I've written it、um, some years ago, where horses will be your companions on a path to self discovery or to discovery of whatever you wish to discover. Distance is not an issue, and the physical horse doesn't have to be next to you. So stay tuned. I shall see you soon. And for now, greetings from Helena and family, from our pack, and from our herd. 
We'll see you in a week. Bye for now.